Certainly one of the most common things you do in Excel is enter data into various worksheets. This particular worksheet called data entry is for the moment blank, but we're going to put in some data here covering six months. Maybe it's a small business we're starting out of our home. Maybe it represents some work we're doing at the office. And to make things a little clearer, why not zoom in? We've got plenty of room on the screen here. So in the lower right-hand corner, we will use the zoom slider button. Zoom to maybe 200%, something like that. Yeah, that's good enough. And you can make changes there anytime you want in terms of zooming. We're going to put in some information here. We're going to eventually have months across the top. But we'll start by just typing in some data here, some real basic ideas about how Excel manages information. We're going to type sales. We complete an entry by pressing enter or any of the arrow keys or even tab. If you press tab, the active cell will move to the right into B2. Maybe we want to put in the data below this next, so we'll simply press enter. Now, it's probably not a big deal to even bring up, but yet, why is that left aligned? Because it's a text entry. In Excel, when you enter data that's not numeric, it's automatically aligned on the left side of the cell. Later, using formatting techniques, you might want to change that. Next, I'm going to type in expenses. Maybe as I'm typing this, I use a C. Maybe I've been working in Canada recently. I want to make a correction, so I'll simply press backspace. SES, enter, and then profits. Text entries automatically left aligned. Sometimes you want to change a cell. Now, maybe I want to use the word overhead here in place of expenses, so we don't have to erase this. We'll simply type right over it and press enter. So we've made a replacement simply by typing over the information. Now you can also edit a cell. I don't have any real need to change these. Maybe I don't want the S on profits. Maybe profit is good enough. So we can edit this. I don't want to retype at all. A couple different ways to edit. You can click on a cell and then click in the formula bar using backspace or delete whatever to get rid of characters that way. You can also double click in a cell. The advantage here might be you can double click near where the change needs to be made. So as I point to this, I'll double click near the end right there, double click, and simply press backspace, and then enter. And with longer entries, editing is more likely to, to be used. Now we're going to put in some numbers here as well. I'm going to make a mistake on purpose here. I've got caps lock on, maybe I forgot about it. And I'm not paying too much attention to my keyboard here, I type one, two, I'm going to put in a zero, but maybe I press O, they're right next to each other on the keyboard. And I don't think much of it. I'll press tab to move rightward. And now I'm going to type 160, 160. I do type this one correctly. And as I press enter here or tab, it does put in the information, but it's pretty obvious there's a difference there. What happened over here? That's an O. We see a zero in column C here. Excel says, in effect, if it's not all numbers, it's text. Therefore, it lines it on the left side. Numbers are aligned on the right side. We learned how to do that back in the second grade when they taught us to add numbers, subtract them, and so on. So let's change this to 120. And we'll put in some other entries, just pressing the tab key to move rightward here. So I'll type in some other numbers. And more or less making these up as I go along. And then coming back into this row here, putting some numbers here, 100 and then 130 and so on. So it's one of those basic chores we do all the time. And again, numbers aligned on the right side, text aligned on the left side with formatting techniques. We'll make some changes there. Also we'll insert dollar signs when needed and commas, but the basic data entry concepts are here. And remember, anytime you need to change a cell, you either will edit it by double-clicking or simply type over it to replace the entries that are there.